Welcome to Downey Live. We're at the Edmonton Corn Maze. This is Marissa, Nicole, and I'm Mike. We're about to go through, but we've just discovered there's a lot more to coming to a, a corn maze. Corn mazin. Nice. Oilers, yeah, that does not surprise me even a little bit. Look at the Indy, the race car here. Yeah. We've just picked up our passport to go through. We're kind of like, okay, yeah, check off the boxes as you go through the maze. No, it actually guides you through. So you find post number one, and if you answer the question correctly, it tells you which way to go. If you answer incorrectly, you'll be going the wrong way. So we have to try and quiz our way through this maze. It's like a big escape room. Boy, glad we have Marissa with us. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get well, started. See, let's time it. See how long it takes us to get through this thing. It's 3 p.m. We'll see when we come out. You have to find post number one. Yeah. I will say there was a sign on our way in that talked about the maze conditions, and I didn't understand that, but we're in Alberta. They've already had a lot of snow and really strong winds, which has, as you can see, destroyed some of the corn. So they've apparently done their best to clean the trails and maintain it and, and make it as good as possible. But you, you know, weather is weather and uh, it's still here. And so far, so good, but we can't find post number one yet. Here it is. Okay, we found it. Ah. So they had a few trivia, what types themes. I guess? A themes. A few different trivia themes. So we chose the Canada. There was corn trivia. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Bioware trivia. So we're going to do Canada. <laughs> so first question, when did Canada become a country? 150 years ago, right? 1867. Yeah. We're celebrating our 150th, so. Turn left. Okay, here's a tip. For if you ever get stuck in a real life maze, they say the trick is to pick a direction and keep your, say if you wanna go left, keep your left hand on the wall at all times and eventually you will find your way out. So that's a pro tip for all, for all you mazers. You're the leader. This way. All right. Other corn maze interesting fact, corn in French is actually maize, which is a lot like the word maize, which I think is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, we found a bridge. Those are key because you can go find your route sometimes. We've gotten really lucky with the weather because it's so dry. Sometimes they can be really muddy. Wow, what a view. Wow. I don't know where this post is. <laughs> what was the point of telling us what direction to go? If it didn't even actually give you a... It told us to go left and then it immediately split into like three other directions yeah. and you just kind of have to guess. So, Nicole, can you see anything? No. I don't have, I don't have a better vantage point up here. Oh, you're, you're basically like three inches taller than my eyes. <laughs> Okay, so we've sort of abandoned all strategy here and we're walking aimlessly through the corn maze. Oh, damn it. And oh, look, we're right back at the bridge. Let's take a different turn. Here's a maze tip number two for you. You can use the sun to give you sort of a general direction. Unless it's noon, then you really are out of luck. Okay, maze tip number three. We're now 12 minutes into the maze and we have not found post number two. So don't attempt a corn maze if you're in a rush or a pinch for time. I get it, a maze maze. That's what it would be. Yeah, in, right. Right. Okay, she's with us. I see one over there. Really? So we just have to figure out how to get there. I see it. She's running. She's into this. On a mission. Post number two. Number three. Number three? Oh, well hey, we skipped one. Okay. Okay, what's the question? What is Canada's first and oldest national park? Jasper, Yoho, Cosmore. I'm sorry, what? It? Yeah. <laughs> Cromorne. 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 Or Banff. I actually think it's Banff. I think it's Banff too. So which way? Left? Way? Go left. All right. Nicole doesn't seem too sure. Corn maze tip number four. Come during the week, during the day, because there are no kids here. <laughs> or other people at all. Actually. Yeah, or anyone. Or anyone. Which it's makes this... Makes this so much more dangerous. If uh, do they keep track of how many people come into the corn maze and how many people come out? Like when they're closing at night, do they know if there's anyone That's left a good here? Question. Nicole, where's your degree in geography? Yeah. As much as I know, popular belief believes that all we do in geography is stare at compasses and maps and and complete corn mazes. <laughs> it is in fact not the case. Oh. Only part of a semester in October. Yeah. <laughs> so that was simply year. a field course that was oh. accounted for 90% of my grade. Okay, here's your first corn maze joke of the day. Oh, I better get this right before I tell it. 
Here's your corn maze joke of the day. Hey guys, it's, oh I'm sorry. I can't. Oh that's okay. <laughs> Why did the scarecrow get promoted? Anyone? Anyone? He was outstanding in his field. Yeah. Oh that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've run ahead of the girls and I'm hiding in the corn to see if I can scare them. But the corn isn't a very good hiding place because they're very, very thin. They don't hide me very well. Mike? No! Oh. Oh, I got you! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> I was just explaining, I'm like, I'm hiding in the corn, which is not a very good hiding place, because look how thin the corn is, and I'm much thicker no, than that. No, that worked. That scared me. But I still got him. Bullets are really impressed. Yeah. I'm gonna have a fun evening now. Oh. 10. Last one. Hero. It's the, how old is Canada? It's 150 years old. Yeah. So we turn turning. left or right? Left. She's walking faster now. Oh look, Nicole. They're sending our rescue helicopters, but we made it out just in time. So we can, okay, we're good. You can uh, go home. We can call it off now. Oh, so how long did that take? Oh. 31 minutes. You know where you're hanging out. You know where the food comes from, don't you? I love cows. Nobody knows. You know, don't you? Hi! Do you want me to cut put my hand in so it's more comfortable for you? No, sir. Oh, save some for the other one. Okay, there you're you very... Okay, oh, okay. How about we go over here? Okay, you just really want to eat it like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm a gymnast! Says you can't be in love. You can't be in love? Yeah. Oh, it says you can't have heart problems. Oh, I can't have heart problems. That makes more sense. Let's go to the spud guns. Now we're at the spud gun. Spud gun. Size matters. It's a big one. Baby. You're just your re reactions. My reaction? <laughs> yeah. Why? Whoa! <laughs> it's like taking a kid to the corn maze. This is the best part. Except she's toilet trained. <laughs> Last one. Who's most likely to succeed here? Okay, we're gonna choose the golden spud on this one. Okay. Lock and load it! Aiming at the center core! Okay, what's next? Yeah. Kettle corn! Oh, now, now you're happy. I think I give the corn maze a strong recommendation, whether you have kids or not. Some people are more like kids than others. <laughs> but uh, we also got really lucky with the weather. Hey, wait, what does that mean? That it's very sunny and not wet and muddy. <laughs> <laughs>